Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Art Jarrett. All right, well, good morning to you. Take a look. Water vapor imagery shows dry air just offshore here. We're having high pressure holding on. That's why our temperatures are gradually increasing. And you're also looking at an area of low pressure. Continue to circulate moisture back from the Rockies back into California, down into Southern California. That's where we're getting the light rainfall this early morning. As this uh, progresses into the afternoon, some of that light rainfall will start to move down to Southern California. We will see high pressure build in. We'll get into mostly cloudy skies to partly cloudy skies at the coast. Get some clearing on the inland side, working from the Bay Area down to the South Bay and the Santa Clara Valley, and that'll give us a chance to warm up a bit. There's a look at the areas of low pressure circulating that moisture back into uh, California. You're going to see that kind of move back again as we go into the evening hours with the potential of some of those showers going a little bit wider, getting into the San Benito County area, possibly over the Pinnacles and possibly over the San Lucia Mountains, maybe even over the Diablo Range in San o and San Jose possibly down into Silver Creek and those areas into Almaden. We could see a wayward shower or two. We'll go into Friday. We'll clear out the skies a bit more here, getting into at least clear to partly cloudy skies with potential for moisture coming back in the evening yet again. You can see that working into areas from Sacramento all the way back into the Bay Area, possibly into San Jose. Now, high surf advisories in effect. You see all that purple along the coastline. That will expire at 9 o'clock this morning. Uh, we're getting some waves up from 5 to at least 15 to 18 feet out there, so please be careful this morning if you're going to be on the beach. You're holding on to conditions widespread in the 50s, patchy fog holding on to the coast as well as the interior valleys. We have a lot of moisture that is still holding on to some of the coastal hills as well as some of the uh, interior valleys, and that will start to, uh, to get out of the way once we get into the afternoon by 1 o'clock, lingering along the peninsula, down along the Big Sur coast. We've cleared out most of the inland areas, maybe a little patchiness up in the uh, Gablin range, and other than that, we're going to be seeing some uh, better looking conditions, warmer conditions today, 60s and 70s, still below seasonal averages for most of the state. We'll pick up 60s and 70s in Southern California. Once you get into your conditions yet again down in the South County areas by Parkfield, we're looking at the 40s and 50s. Coast and Salinas today, we'll see uh, those clouds kind of continue to linger again, as I've mentioned, the temperature range again in the 60s and the low 70s. To, and we'll pick up the same on the inland side with up to 76 degrees for our warmer spots. In the Bay Area, you'll get up to some 60s and 70s. And once you get into your KSBW 8-day forecast, we're going to hold on to conditions like this. You'll see 60s and 70s increasing again tomorrow. We'll hold on to warmer conditions. We'll clear the partly cloudy skies. Saturday and Sunday, we dip the temperatures down. Chance of rainfall for Sunday. Monday, we cleared out as Memorial Day as we begin to warm it up <laughs> right after the holiday. You gotta love that. California is just crazy weather. 60s, 70s, and 80s for you. We're gonna warm those temperatures up into the 80s eventually by the time we get into next week. Ooh, that's looking nice. Yes, it is.